perfectly situated in the hinterland of Guatemala. Far from the matting crowds of civilization lies the quaint and quiet little town of Chichi Castanango, the sacred city, sacred to over 30,000 direct descendants of an ancient copper-colored people, the Mayan Indians, who are credited with having kept the lights of learning aglow in Central America long before the coming of the white man. The colorful and imposing archway which forms the main entrance to Chichi Castanango, however, owes its construction to the genius of the white man. For the Mayan Indians, with all their proverbial architectural skill, never discovered the principle of the arch, and as a result, many of their ancient temples, built with false arches, have suffered premature decay. The Mayan Inn is also the handiwork of white men, built to accommodate the straying travelers of modern times, who have only recently discovered Chichi Castanango, which, by the way, is one of the few places left upon the earth where native people neither dress nor act to please tourists. Music and dancing represent the chief source of their amusement, and the marimba is about the only musical instrument in native use. Although the early Spaniards introduced the marimba, the Indians have adopted it as their own, and the unique gourds, which are hollowed out and used for sound boxes, are believed to have been invented by the Indians themselves. From the day that they are born, the Mayan children are taught to control their emotions and possibly that is why there is such quietness in their faces and such repose in their movements and their postures. The clothes which are worn by the native Indians are woven by themselves in a manner that has changed but little in the past several centuries. Before the cheaper chemical dyes destroyed the market, over a million tons of cochineal dye were exported from Guatemala, but at the present time the cochineal is cultivated only for local use as the natives prefer to color their cotton and woolen fabrics. The principal foodstuff of Aboriginal America was corn or maize, and it continues to be the staple food of the Mayan Indians, who grind it out on stone today, as their ancestors did generations before them. When the Spanish explorers first came to Central America, they wore a costume not unlike that which is worn by the Indians of Chichi Castanango today. As a matter of fact, the style of the costume was copied from the Spanish buccaneers, and insofar as styles in Chichi Castanango do not change, it is an interesting illustration of how a primitive people can preserve and utilize a style of dress for centuries. Market Day in Chichi Castanango is one of the most interesting sites in Central America, for here are assembled hundreds of Indians who have come in from the outlying districts with their homegrown and homemade products, which are placed on sale in primitive and colorful array. Here, too, the characteristic lack of demonstrativeness is apparent, for there seems to be no desire on the part of the Indian merchants to sell their goods and they appear to be quite indifferent to any of the prospective customers. The Indians of Chichi Castanango completely disdain the idea of using horses or wheels by way of assisting them in transporting their burdens. As a matter of fact, it would be safe to assume there are many Indians in the outlying districts today who have never seen a horse and do not yet know the principle of the wheel and the great service which man has derived from its variegated uses. The gentlemen with the black hats are ambassadors of religion, and it is their duty on market day to walk among their fellow Indians, presenting a religious emblem to be kissed, and collecting whatever donations the faithful may wish to contribute for the benefit of the church. And now we come to one of the strangest demonstrations of religious fervor to be found in the world today. For at Chichi Castanango, the sacred city of the Mayan Indians, Christianity and paganism seem to go hand in hand with each other, and the result is extremely colorful and interesting. When the Spanish conquerors first came to Chichi Castanango, they ruthlessly destroyed the pagan temples of the Mayan Indians and built Christian churches upon the debris. But it appears that it was hardly more than an architectural transition, for upon the steps of this Christian church, pagan fires still blaze forth and pagan hearts still beat with all the fervor of ancient Maya. The 
The swinging of the smoking censer pot seems to have the significance of driving away evil spirits, while the worshipers inside the church pray before the statues of their favorite saints for the blessings of life and the forgiveness of their sins. And the remarkable fact about this whole demonstration is that after the Mayans complete their worship at the Christian shrines, many of them retire to the hills and uncover the hidden images of their ancient Mayan gods and pray to them in sincerest reverence, even as their ancestors did long before the coming of the white man. The moral of it all seeming to be that they are willing to accept the Christian religion, provided it does not prevent them from worshiping the pagan gods of their forefathers. And it is here that we conclude our visit to Chichi Castanango, the sacred city of the Mayan Indians.